Welcome back. <laughs> Catherine Layden is in the kitchen this morning. With a hearty beef and Guinness pie. Or stout. Right. Should we say stout? Yes. Why not? Why not? Depends where you're from, I'd say. There you, there you yeah. go. There you go. Now, I have three tablespoonfuls of oil here. Um, I brought it to a very high temperature earlier and I fried or sealed my one and a half pounds of rounder rib steak. Round steak I've used. Remove the fat and cut into cubes. Now it is important that you seal that first of all. Okay. Otherwise it's going to be tough afterwards, right? Okay. All right? Now into that with the still the hot oil I'm going to add my three thinly sliced onions. Sorry, two thinly sliced onions and three large carrots thinly sliced. So it looks like you have white and onions and red onions there. I put a there. combination of the two in. Nice, exactly, that's yeah. the key. And can I tell you, I cut the hand off myself with the... That thing is dangerous. I, I'm still not allowed to use it in my mother's, I know, my I mother's know, house. Right. But I'm the last Take one. the fingers off you. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. terrible. Yeah. So anyway, but it does give lovely thin slices, but you have to be desperately careful. Worth the pain. No pain, no gain. All, all right. right, all right, sports star, pipe down. Now, you just stir that. Now, I'd leave it a little bit longer if you were at home. Yeah. Just lightly. How um, long would you want, ideally, it? if you're at home? Um, just about three or four minutes, but we don't really have that. OK. Today. OK? Now, next thing we do, already the onions are starting to soften. You see, mm. if you have them thinly sliced, they will cook a lot quicker. So And the here, carrots, sorry, quickly, do the carrots cook as quick as the onions? Not onion? as quick as the onions, no. no. That's why I'm saying the onions are cooking now, right, but okay. the carrots do take longer. Yeah. Right. In fact, a tip about carrots, you know the way we generally cut them in rounds? Yeah. yeah. They will cook a lot quicker if you cut them in lengths. Oh, okay. yeah. So yeah. use a potato, like for that you could use a potato peeler could, yeah. and just do it in yeah. lengths. Yeah, or cut it lengthwise. Yeah. They do cook quicker. Now, and into that time. I'm going to put two tablespoons, that's three dessert spoonfuls of our cream plain flour and we mix that through. Okay. That's simply to thicken this Fine sauce. It all together, yeah. Now just to make sure as well as you're stirring this through, it absorbs all the oil, all the oil that's left because that oil, if you remember, we fried the meat in and when you cook the flour, we're now going to add the remaining dry ingredients. Now this is very, very simple. We have some salt and pepper here, a good pinch of salt and pepper. I have some dried mixed herbs. You could have used just dried thyme as well if you wished. Lovely. One tablespoon full of dark brown sugar. Oh. And the sugar combines very well with the Guinness. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Dr. So Ava's now, coming for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in trouble. Don't mention the word. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now, so good. Finally, at this stage, we add our 500 ml can of Guinness. What? Oh, the whole lot goes in, does it? whole lot goes in. So you can't even have a sip of it? No, a sip of it, no. <laughs> no. What a waste. Uh, and then... Huh? I thought you maybe... You can buy two. Uh, I'd maybe go three quarters. Is that it? You have can a, buy have two. Have a mouthful. Exactly. Yeah. Now, bring that to the boil. And there are two ways of finishing this off. You can either do it in the oven mm -hmm. all the way through, or you can simmer it on a saucepan. Now, if you're going to do it in a casserole in the oven, you would toss your meat onto the casserole dish, okay. yeah. right? And then pour this sauce when it has thickened in on top of it. But I made one last night, actually, mm. that I simmered. So I'm going to use that one okay, today. So put it in okay, there so I just, just turn that in. And how long would you simmer it for, Catherine? About an hour and a half on Lovely. a low simmer. Wow. And the same um, 180-350 gas mark four in the oven with the lid on it. And okay. then... OK, so when that's yeah, that done, cook. then, just pour it into the casserole dish. Put it into the casserole yeah. dish now. And when that's in the oven, you can make up your pastry. We just put a pastry lid on God. this. Now, you could serve it with, with, with mashed potatoes, mm. but the pastry, I think, makes a difference. Yes. OK? And just... If you make your pastry in advance, you can just put it in cling film then and into the fridge until 30 minutes before your casserole is ready to come out of the oven, then you just, so just put it on the, the pastry top on top. And, and crimp it round the edges, is that what it is? As the fella says, gently ease it round oh the edges. We're a bit stuck God. in the space yeah. here. There we go. And then just ease it in round the edges. And that goes in for about 30 minutes. And a bit of an egg wash, is it? A bit of an egg wash going on now. And to absorb the steam when it's cooking, it's nice to just put a little... A hole on top, oh, on top. is it? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Tommy. 
Ah, there, there, then. I'm learning. Oh. I'm learning. These he's getting good at this world. Because he knows you've got a secret can under there hidden. <laughs> he's, got, he's got to do well in the test. So, no. And then just pop that into the oven then? Into the oven for 30 minutes and it's ready to serve. And we hope the one in the oven now is ready for you. Oh, right. That's so we just yeah, put a little it's getting hungry now. cross on top. Now right, we'll let's have a look. Out of the oven first. Delicious. And then we put in the... Oh, it's bubbling away here. This looks good. Wow. Oh, look at that oh, look bubbling at that. away. It's piping. Wow. Now, just to tell you, it helps. Although, luckily, it didn't happen here. Thanks, Tommy. Oh, look at that. Now, we put this in. And 30 minutes, as I say. And off you Beautiful. go. And we're Catherine Lynn, look at that. Now, listen, Catherine. Now, don't burn yourself when you're tasting it. Oh, we won't. We won't. We won't. We won't. We'll taste that in the break. But I just wanted to say, see, you weren't, you weren't here last week. No. You had a bit of sad news. A bit of sad news. Poor little Gucci has gone to doggy heaven. Oh. And I've had her for 16 years. 16 great years. Yeah. But I miss her terribly. And we're so lovely when she comes in here yeah. and she walks around the place. She's yeah. part she, of the family. She thought she owned the place. She was a little diva when she, she came actually in. does. Yeah. Well, I'm only here a year and a half and yeah. everybody knew Gucci, everybody knows knew Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. And anyway. anybody who's been into the show when you've been here as well, yeah. listen. So Gucci's in doggy heaven doggy now, heaven. happy, I hope. Ah, oh. yeah. Okay. Listen. And we know that she's your companion and we're so sorry. We're so sorry, thank Catherine. You so and much. thank you for coming in. Thank you uh, so thank much. Thank you for coming in. Um, You're going to taste this now during the break. Oh, I can't thank wait. you so much. We're going to eat it away. Uh, we'll be back with you very shortly on Ireland AM.